Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Anaplan Expert Series video. Today, we will be discussing Anaplan's latest dynamic text card release. A text card allows us to add text to a page while also providing important contacts. With a text card, we can add headings and instructions to help users understand their data, describe a dimension, or explain the significance of other cards displayed in a page, while also allowing users to not only use, but navigate a page. With the latest text card release, you will see that our edit mode and options have changed. Let's take a closer look at how we can utilize these changes. We can now enhance our cards by using dynamic narrative and rich textiles. This allows you to change values on your page based on context selectors from your model, add styles to text, choose font size, font color, apply and remove formatting such as bold or strike through, choose text alignment and format text such as bullet list or number list. Now that we understand how we can utilize this feature, let's see it in action. In this example, we're in a rolling forecast scenario where we will be starting at the finance director page. Let's take a look at how it starts at the initial setup. In the progression by role, we see that we have progression by role, status, employee, and submission date. In this scenario, we will focus on our country lead, Maria Paricio, who is currently in progress for submitting her report. We can see that she's Colombia's country lead and that her progression is currently 50% with no comments. By the end of this demo, we will see how her status will end at complete and progression at 100% along with her comments by using dynamic text card. Let's take a look at our country leads page. In this board, we see that on February 23rd, Colombia had a total of 10 cases sold of soft drinks. However, we have implemented a set of rules based on our past cells to highlight cells for which we have deemed likely to need change. This rule is based on if our forecast is less than our prior year actuals, then the cells will be highlighted red. In this example, we can use the override option to update the cells necessary. After overriding, we can now see that our value for cases sold has updated to the amount we entered in our override cell. As we toggle through time dimension in our columns, our values for cases sold within our dynamic text card has updated with the override cells entered. The data now looks correct and is ready for submission. The country lead will then tick submit and enter any comments necessary. Now that Columbia's country lead has made her submissions, Let's go back to our finance director board to view our final changes. In our progression by role, we can now see several updates. Our color status changed from yellow to green and from in progress to completed. Submission date has also been populated. In Columbia's country lead card, progression is now at 100% and we can now view the comments that say approved and ready for review. In this demo, we were able to utilize Dynamic Text Card by viewing the progress of submission within our Finance Director board, allowing us to see the progress status, percentage, and comments. Within our Country Leads page, it allowed us to view the number of cases sold by time, product, and country. This is one of the many ways Dynamic Text Cards can be used to enhance and improve our pages. For more information, email us at anaplan at techlink.com and follow us on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be up to date on our latest releases. Until then, thank you for watching.